even said to my mother, I'm like, why didn't you tell me that real estate existed? Like, like this, this is, this is, this is it. Like, I, I can't believe you guys didn't. Cause I remember having the conversation with my parents and it was like, all right, what, what are you going to do for a living? So definitely not. And I, I was actually at the crossroads because in, in high school, um, I, my father convinced me to go to a BOCES and he convinced me to go to a trade school to learn electrical because he said, listen, when you graduate from high school, um, college isn't for everybody. So why don't you learn a trade? So at least you can go out there and feed your family. So I listened to him and it just happened that I got offered a scholarship my senior year in high school. And it was kind of like having two different people on my shoulder because my father was like, get out in the workforce, go out there, start making a name for yourself, start making money. My mother was like, listen, this is a great opportunity to go to college. And I was never really college material. You know, uh, as you know, I, I have a learning disability. So I'm dyslexic uh, and I still don't read on a level of where I should be. And my whole life I struggled with school. Kevin, I was literally the kid in school where I would be sitting in math class and I would look at the clock and I'm like, oh my God, only 15 minutes went off the clock. <laughs> I, I know that feeling. bro. <laughs> and Kevin, today I will literally have been up since 3.50 in the morning and I will go tonight until nine o'clock and the day's going to go like this. Right. I'm not even going to have a chance to eat besides a little coffee. Um, that will probably be my whole day because it's one appointment from one conference call to one meeting. And I, and I love it because this is, this is my addiction. And in school, the, literally the school felt like a year. Science class, I could see the clock. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to have my staff order me a school clock because <laughs> I, the hand never moved. It literally never moved. I even remember the, the face of the clock came off one day and I think I took like a pen and I, I started moving it around just to try to get to the next class to wait for the, bit, the bell to move. And now today, because w with real estate, I, I can't get enough time. I can't wake up early enough and I can't go to bed late enough. And I think that's an important uh, thing to mention is that, you know, college ain't for everybody. It wasn't for me. I didn't go to college until after I left the Marine Corps and, and started working and had a family. So and, and, and it's still, you know, for me, I was never very good at school and, you know, college wasn't my thing. So I left and went to the Marine Corps and kind of found my way. Um, and there's a lot of push for that college. You have to go to college. You have to do something. And I think that you, your example is, listen, if you're not good at school and, and it's not for you, you could actually still be successful in life. You don't have to be down on yourself. A lot of people get down on themselves and say, you know, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, am I going to have a $10 an hour job for the rest of my life. But you found a way to make an amazing career in real estate with your drive. And, and you took what your best qualities were and put it into real estate. And now you're very successful. So I guess I don't have to ask you why real estate or the hustle and grind, but you have to put in from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed every day. Otherwise, you know, you don't get paid. It's, 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 a, it's a very cutthroat industry, a lot of competition. How do you stand out amongst all the other competitors as the best? Yeah, it, it, it happened by accident. It kind of just, I started as a, as a part-time job. My first year, it was three houses, friends and family. <laughs> then it was 10 houses, then it was 20 houses, then it was 50. And then I have been in real estate about 12 years now. There was a long period of time I was doing about 50 to 80 homes a year which is insane. And now today in uh, the last three years in a row, I've done over 140 transactions. This year, year to date, Kevin, we're sitting here December uh, 4th or 5th, right? Uh, we're sitting here December 5th, year to date, I've done 180 transactions, which is totally insane. I have a, um, and I'm gonna butcher it, but you've, you've probably heard of Roger Bannister. Okay. Okay, Roger Bannister was the first person to run the four minute mile. Before Roger Bannister ran the four minute mile, they, the scientists, doctors literally said that the human heart would burst out of the chest and the man would die. <laughs> Once Roger did this and broke the four minute mile and did it in less than four minutes, weeks and months after that, many, many people started doing it. Why did they start doing it? Is because now in their heads, they realized it was possible. Right. And it's been like that with my business where people are like, oh, you can't sell 50 houses a year. And then, oh, you can't sell over 100 houses a year. You can't sell over 150 houses a year. And now I'm a, 
at 180 houses year to date. We still have a few more weeks left. It's totally insane. So I really hope that I'm now showing people that, listen, if you put your mind to it, no one else needs to believe what you're doing. As long as you, you're all in on it and you totally believe it, it could absolutely come true. I've literally created this real estate business in my head. I knew a decade ago that I was gonna be the number one real estate agent in Suffolk County. And I knew that I was gonna build a large rental portfolio uh, behind it. And a lot of people laughed at me. A lot of people thought it was never gonna happen. And I'm literally proof today that if you put your mind to it and you set your goal, it's, it could absolutely come true. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, subscribe to the show, like it and comment. Also, if you want the audio version because you're traveling, you're in a car and you can't watch it, you don't have time to watch the episodes, you could go in the show notes. There is a link provided. Um, Stitcher, iTunes, iHeartRadio, whatever your pleasure may be. Join me and listen uh, via the audio versions on uh, those other platforms, okay? But I really like uh, YouTube. I like the way it's working out. And if you can, subscribe. The more subscribers, the better the content I can provide you. And it costs you nothing. So I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.